Hey guys, listen, we're um, literally just coming out on the road, but I want to encourage you all to let you know that regardless of the storm that you're in, listen, you are coming out of it. I want you to look ahead now. Don't switch this around in front of us. Just like we came out of the storm. Listen, you're coming out of the storm. And I want y'all to be encouraged. Listen, the word says that weeping may endure for a night. But what? Joy coming in the morning time. So I want to encourage you all as I flip this back around to me to let you know that your joy is now here. And so begin to rejoice, begin to give God praise, begin to give God honor, begin to give God glory. Listen, whatever the enemy meant for evil, God is able to turn it around and make it work for your good. So I want to encourage you to praise God, give God glory, give God honor, worship him, adore him, lift him up. The sun is out. I don't know if, uh, no, you, of course y'all didn't know this, but we had it on the radio. And there's a song by, uh, what is it, Cliff, uh, that says, you can see clearly now the rain is gone, gone. It's going to be a bright, bright, sun, shiny day. As you see, you all, we're experiencing now a sun, shiny day. Sometimes we got to go through the storm to get to the sun to the sunshine, to the shiny day, to the places that we can enjoy the sunlight, amen, and enjoy the sun, S-O-N, Christ himself, amen. He paid the price so that we may have life and life, what, more abundantly. And so again, I said once again, even though you had to go through the storm, now you're coming out. Amen. I don't care if it's a lack of, uh, you know, there's a scarcity of certain things. Listen, Jesus came that we may have life and life more abundantly. So whether your finance, finances were lacking, um, God's going to, uh, amen, give you those finances or resources in abundance. My encouragement to you is don't give up. Let me say that again. Don't give up on God because he never gave up on you. We may give up on God, but he will never give up on you. For the word of God tells us that he will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. So you all, God is going to do some incredible things in your life. Amen. He's going to bless you tremendously. He's going to bless you with resources. He's going to bless you in your education. Amen. Some of y'all to go back to school. Some of you to finish school. Amen. So Amen. Relationships. Relationships that have been broken up. God's going to restore some of those relationships. Those relationships that have been severed by the enemy. Amen. Once again, and when, once God brings it back together, no man will, amen, put it asunder. No man can break it. Amen. God's going to restore your ministry. Take it to another level. Amen. Your health. Amen. Restore it to good health. He said, I wish above all things that you would prosper and be in health, even as I so prosper. Amen. So listen, I want to thank you all for taking the time to listen right now uh, again. So don't feel uh, uh, slighted by any form or imagination that things are not going your way. Know that now you can see clearly. Amen. The storm is gone. Now it's time to shine. Let me say it again. The storm is gone. Now it's time to shine. All right, guys. Listen, y'all have a good one. Remember this. When you focus your faith and you pray, you are bound for an extraordinary destiny. So y'all make it a good one. Amen. And continue to look. Sunshine. Look at the sunshine. Look at what God is doing. He's opening up the clouds. He's opening it up just for you. So walk in it. Walk in your God authority walk in your abundance. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all have a victorious day. God bless you.